Well, welcome to Rendering Insights. In this video, we're going to draw a 1965 Corvette. We're going to do the line work in Adobe Illustrator, and then we'll bring that line work into Photoshop and build that drawing in layers. If you enjoy this video or find it interesting, please like and subscribe down below. All right, this is the drawing we're going to do. The 65 Corvette. This <laughs> perspective this three-quarter rear view is very dramatic and it enables us to do some cool highlights and have some fun with it so let's get started let's get going into illustrator okay, here we are in adobe illustrator this drawing was originally done for a client of mine he was building this car and he sent me a photograph several photographs of this car this has killer build and one of the pictures was this three-quarter rear view, this dramatic angle, and we both just loved it and said that would make a great rendering. It was just one of the drawings that we did for this build. So that was the basis for um, moving forward here. So what I did, I scanned in that photograph and just used it as a template to, to draw all these basic lines of the car. Some bolder, some lighter. Had these giant meats on here and he'd already selected the wheels that he wanted to use and their killer on this thing. So it just traced off all these basic lines, this exhaust, everything like that. Even on this tail light, we've gone in here and just uh, kind of exaggerated those rings that they have uh, on there because those do grab light when this tail light is uh, illuminated and it makes it brighter. So we just wanted to go ahead and put those in red to start with, and then when we get into Photoshop, it'll be easier to illustrate and gives a little bit of detail in there. But in this case, I just decided to put all this detail on one single layer, and then we will multiply that layer once we're in Photoshop and start doing our shading. All right, let's take this into Photoshop and get going. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. We brought in our line layer of the car from Illustrator, dropped it in here, and decided to go ahead and make six copies of this layer. Just took this layer over on the right, drug it down to that plus sign six times, and made six duplicate layers. And we'll just uh, dress those one at a time. I know we got this crazy Photoshop background, it looks kind of nutty. So on this very first layer, the bottom layer, we're going to go ahead and fill this with white just to give us a good foundation to build our shading on. All right, so here's our white layer. Went ahead and filled that in. All right, so now we have a good basis for everything else we're going to do. I, I think on this car, not much is going to show through. Maybe the license plate and a couple little things. We're going to put fills on top of this. But I just like to have that white layer just so we know we have uh, true colors when we lay them on top. All right, on our next layer, we'll go ahead and open that up and we'll put our base colors in. Okay, in this case, we're going for that kind of really pretty uh, metallic gold bronze color. So we're going to do a base color of this tan and our basic tire color. Again, um, I don't use black for the tires. I do these dark uh, kind of charcoal colors, usually a little warmer tone like back here fill this in that we can put our shading in later later and uh, make that look a little more realistic a little darker on the sidewall and these wheels uh, have a real rich bronze color to them so we're going to put this brown in here to start with and then we'll render that as we move along same thing on uh, the, these tail lights <laughs> we, we're putting you know just kind of a real light gray on these backup lights and uh, kind of a almost a pink color over these tail lights and we'll darken that up with some reds later that way we already have some highlights working for us uh, now on the foundation so there's that base color layer all right and on the glass not really sure what we're going to do up there so we're just going to drop in this blue we know it's a safe color for glass a reflection of the sky and then we're going to darken this up quite a bit so there won't be much of this left showing once we get down the road here. All right, on our next color layer, we're gonna start doing some shading in here. Again, selecting 
each of these panels one at a time with the magic wand tool down in here and maybe at the same time this panel the door and this the lower part of this front fender and start brushing in our shading this is what this next panel looks like see what we've done on this lower panel we brushed in some uh, it's actually a dark brown color in here and some blacks this was a very difficult uh, car to render just because you know these corvettes have such amazing shape in here over these wells they, they roll up here, they drop in, and they come over, and it's really hard to get that shading in there. So I struggled with it, to be honest, uh, to get this right. Back here on this boat tail, we kind of brushed some work in here. At the same time, starting to uh, mirror that uh, on our glass. Again, that's just the next layer. Start to put some black in there and brush in a little white up at the top. Not really sure how we're going to finish that, but little at a time. Also on that, that bumper, put some black in here and started playing with some white in this layer. Okay, look at the tail lights. Same thing with some grays in here, start to build our shadows and up in these hollows in here, the way these are recessed. And the red, see what we've done with the red? Just put it on top of that kind of pinky color, knowing there's going to be some shadow in here, but it's still going to be red for the most part. And detailing some of these exhaust ports. And on the wheels, we've started doing some shading in here. Some shadow and work in here. Just got in here with our black, selected this part of the wheel, and just started doing some shading in there. Okay. Yeah, there's a better look at that. Okay, now in our next color layer, we're going to do a little bit more shading and actually uh, start playing with some highlights a little bit. And there's the difference of that next one. Went in here again with some black and lightly brushed in here, trying to figure out how this thing's going to look. And look at this spoiler. It was hard to figure out where the shape, uh, the shadows are going to be in this thing. So we kind of brush some work in here and underneath this thing we darken it up but you have to be careful not to get too dark back there but I think that was just about the right amount and on the glass I went ahead and started putting in some white because we're going to have some pretty strong highlights I'm just not sure how much we're going to do we'll add more later on some other layers but that's what I decided to do look at the color we put in start putting a little bit of shadowing selecting this area and just brush in a little bit of white right along that edge and some more on top. Okay. On our next uh, color layer, we're gonna open up and do a little bit more shading, believe it or not, darken this thing up a little bit. See what we did down on the side here with this bronze color? There's a difference in there. And in these recesses for these tail lights, grab my black, selected this area and just started shading in there a little bit just to darken that up trying to make that look a little bit more realistic it was tricky over here under this door handle get a little bit closer just to put some shadows underneath that to make it look like there, it's sitting on top of the car on the side see we've done in these previous layers too just a little bit of shading in here. Just put black on the inside of these vents. Just a little bit of shading up in those corners. All right. Let's move on to some more shading. I'm still using our line layers, opening up another one. Decided to just use this layer only to darken up these wheels. See what we've done? We've gone in and selected these grabbed our black and put some more black in there, both front and back, just to richen this thing up a little bit, just to give it some drastic shadows. And little by little, building our shadows under this uh, <laughs> rear fender, see what that does over the tire, just makes it look like the tire is really tucked on underneath there. Okay, 
Now we're going to start playing with some highlights. We need to brighten this thing up a little bit. So on this next layer, we start playing. It looks pretty drastic, but when we get it all in there, it will be okay. So again, we've selected this panel and just start playing with some whites. I literally put this white in first and then came in and erased some of this and then came in on the top on that crown and added more afterwards. That's how I got that without it spilling in. And up above, I know we we're going to add more up in here, but this was just a start. Wanted to get this in here on this layer. Trying to figure out how bright we're going to make this thing. Uh, we're going to get pretty bright with it. Here's another layer. There's no line layers left, so we're just building this right on top. Just getting our brush tool with some white and just start brushing paint in here and building it up. This is what I did next. Went in here and start putting some highlights in. See the side of the wheels here? Little highlights on the exhaust and on these taillight recesses in a few places on this gas fill cap in a few places on here, just starting to bring the rendering to life a little bit. What we've done on a few other of our videos, we've put in these little stars, went into Illustrator and made this little line star and dropped it in. I only used three in this uh, video, but it just adds a little something on top of the bright. See the one on the spoiler and on the wheel here? I think we have one up on top. See that? Without the highlights underneath it, they look kind of goofy, but when you put those on, just a little bit of sparkle just helps finish the paint a little bit. But I still think we need a little bit more highlight on here, brighten this thing up to look like it all goes together. So on another layer, we're gonna grab our white and just start playing with some shadows. Now I went nuts in here and started brushing this in, but I like it. And I think this is what that reflection would look like in real life with some real bright light, maybe in a studio or something. Okay. Here's a little bit more on another layer. Start playing back on this deck area. We had this brushed in here and I thought, well, now this looks a little bit dark. If this is all in the same world, this is back in the shadow a little bit, but over here, this rear deck area, it just needs a little bit of light. So again, went in there and just played, selecting that white area and leaving it darker on the side, trying to give the illusion, illusion of some shape in here. Okay, okay, that, well, that's good. So now we need a little more shine on our bumper. So on another layer, start playing in here, just brushing in some white on top. So it looks like this bright light is affecting it also. So that's pretty much it on the car. On this license plate, I just went ahead and put the year of the car. Just made a little script thing. This is 1965 and dropped that in there. For the background, we did something pretty simple. We just did a two-step deal. Oh yeah, let's put the shadow on this car. On a separate layer, I grabbed the paintbrush and I grabbed some black and lightly just started playing and brushing in and I did it a couple times till I got what I wanted. Here's our shadow layer. That way the car is not just floating. It looks like it's actually sitting on the ground. See, it's not solid black, um, but it's just enough to make it look like it's uh, on a surface here. Okay. Okay. Back to our background. I did it in two step. I did a, grade, a gradation back here. Gray at the top, which we're gonna cover up. And then this kind of charcoal down to white down below. All right. The only thing left is back here and we can probably leave it like that. It makes this warm, uh, these warm tones stand out, but let's go ahead and put in a crazy teal color back here and see what that looks like. For this drawing, I like that a lot. Something different makes this pop and gives us some contrast. All right. Well, there's my take on a 1965 Corvette that's built very, very well. Well, thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please check out our other videos available on Rendering Insights.